Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for March. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. So this is being recorded in February, so this applies, you know, it could apply now, but it really is meant for the month of March, so I would suggest that you... You watch it in March, okay? This is a preview basically right now, right? Because it's not March yet. This is we're gonna get an overall energy. We're gonna get one of these, one of these, and we're gonna break into that deck. And but the overall energies we're not gonna take reversal. So oh my goodness. You there's something unhealthy, okay? There's something unhealthy that, that needs to go. It's trapping you. It's keeping you stuck. It's hindering your progress. You could be holding on. To, you are holding on to something. There's something that you... There's something that you are letting take your power away. You're, it's taking your power away. It's like you're allowing yourself to be manipulated by something. This could be an addiction. This could be another person. This could be your own thoughts. Um, whatever it is, it's a demon. Okay, it is a demon. So there's something that is hindering your success. And you may, it, may, it may look good. It may make you feel good for a minute, but it's not, not good for you. Okay, something is not good. Okay, period. toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe, I don't know, not all of you will be, but some of you are dealing with perhaps a person or an energy, something that is pretty captivating and alluring and sneaky and there's more to it than meets the eye, put it that way. There's, a, there's an ulterior motive behind whatever this is. Not good for you. Alright? What else do we got for Aries? March. Oh, wow, wonderful. Isn't that the way to go? So, yeah. <laughs> new beginning, right? Something big. You have a big new beginning on the horizon. 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 Completion. The end. The end of a difficult tractor. Now, maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's the end of manipulation. Maybe it's the end of being in a toxic situation. Maybe it's the end of something that you have been tied to and stuck to that hindered your success. Because now you're headed towards success. It's like you're seeing the world through def different lenses, right? seeing things differently after being tied. Some of you are still tied to something, by the way. Some of you have probably closed that chapter. I mean, there's so many people watching this. You got to you got to look at it from both perspectives. I got to show you what's on the bottom because this is a very big deal. Walking away. You have to leave behind what doesn't serve you. You have to leave behind the toxic energies. You have to leave behind the manipulation. You have to leave behind the unhealthy habits to bring success to your life. So I feel like you guys are doing that. I think that you are turning your back and you're headed to a new place. You may be traveling. Maybe you're moving. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like you guys are walking away from a toxic situation. If you haven't done it yet, you're in the process, okay? Um, what else do we have for Aries for March? Walking away into a... New life, really. That's what it is. You guys have been stuck. You have been. You have been stuck. It's like you... It's like somebody had stolen your power, right? They had... Something or somebody, even whether it's a habit, addiction, or a person, somebody has stolen your power and kept you stuck. 
It's like you lost your direction. But I think that's over. I really do. Yep. I think you're you're tossing somebody away or you're, you're tossing something away that didn't sue you. You realize that there's no prosperity here. You realize that there's no abundance here. So I think you're dropping somebody from your life. You may be cutting them out. You may be just dropping a situation that's not even realistic at all. You're taking your power back, Aries. You are. It's like you're taking the power in your own hands now. Maybe you're being divinely guided from somebody that has passed away. You see the dragonfly. You know, maybe there's somebody up there in heaven that is guiding you. Maybe they're communicating with you and they're giving you the knowledge. They're giving you the willpower. They're giving you something that's saying, you know, it's time to let this go. It's time to let this go. It's keeping you back. It's, it's holding you back. You're relocating. You are relocating. And I feel like you are, are realizing that it's time. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to, you know, wherever you're at, there's no, there's no more growth. And you got to be realistic. And I think that's what this is. I think that it's time for you to reside or plant your seed someplace else. He's relocating. Somebody is relocating. These flipped over, so we're going to take them. I think you're following your heart. You're working on your stability. I don't think you're really willing to... I think you're protecting yourself. I think you're not willing to just give to anybody at this time. I think that you are following your heart. You're working on self-love. You're working on following your dreams. But I also feel like you're keeping yourself together. You're holding tight to your own morals. You're holding tight to your own standards. You're just doing whatever you got to do to be stable. And you're doing the right thing. I think you're making the right decision. You really are. I think what's happening is that you're, 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 it's like it's time for a change. It's time for me to take that next step. I think that you're really, really focusing on your abundance right now. You're focusing on, you know, balancing your your stability with following your dreams you know you're, you're trying to keep yourself secure financially but you're also wanting to explore based on your heart's desire right whatever's happening I think that you're seeing things a lot more clearly than you have in a while I think you've received some sort of clarity and I think you that you realize that you can't stay where you're at because it's it's like there's no success there. So it's like you, you're you're buzzing. You're buzzing with this newfound idea. It's like you got this new idea. You got this new groove or this new thought that says, you know, I can, I can still, I can work and, <coughs> excuse me, I can work and I can still follow my dreams at the same time. I think you're, you're really trying to, You may be doing a little bit too much, by the way. Just saying. You may be overwhelming yourself just a bit. Okay? Because I think that you're buzzing with new ideas. That's what I think this is. And I feel like you're wanting to plant your seeds in a bunch of different directions. And you're just trying to go, 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 go. And, you know, I think it's a good thing. I do. But you got to remember that you got to keep yourself in check. You got to keep you got to keep your ma your emotions mastered. You know, don't don't go too fast. You know, don't don't uh, get a speeding ticket. OK, because maybe you need to slow down just a little bit. I 
it, it looks to me like maybe you guys just want to be alone right now. Maybe you want to be alone. Maybe you don't want to get involved in some, any kind of love relationship. Maybe there's some flirting or there's some crush here that's going on, but I don't think that you're willing to come out of hermit mode quite like, quite yet. I really don't. I feel like right now you guys are working on your stability, your security. Um, you could be dealing with a child or children that are not allowing you to, well, let me think of a better wording. They are your top priority. There you go. Maybe your children are your top priority right now and you can't really focus on any kind of romantic relationship. I don't think there's a romantic relationship here. I know. I feel like right now you are focusing on your stability. You're focusing on your abundance. I think there's been a loss of money or a loss of abundance. There's been a loss of stability and perhaps you are needing to go within and come up with a new plan and maybe you're starting to step outside of your shell but you're working really hard to regain your stability. I think you're seeing things clearly. I think right there's been a loss of focus and concentration and I feel like you're trying to maybe you're secluding yourself maybe you're you're wanting to seclude yourself maybe you're not wanting to engage maybe maybe you're going through some sort of midlife crisis or you have gone through some midlife crisis and you're going through some recovery period things are a little chaotic things are a little unbalanced and you're working on releasing yourself from a situation that isn't healthy maybe you have just done that maybe you have just ended an unhealthy situation and now you're trying to regain you're trying to regain your stability I mean that's what it looks like to me it doesn't look like this is about love I feel like you guys You know, maybe maybe you're rejecting love because this is kind of like a rejection. Maybe you're rejecting any love offers because you're not feeling stable right now. You just don't have any desire for that, right? It's like you're not interested. It looks to me like you're not really interested in a romantic relationship right now. That's what it looks like to me. I think things are chaotic. You're working on your money. You're working on your business. You're working on your job. You're working on your stability. You're working on relocating if that's the case. You know, you're working, uh, you're investing in yourself. That's what it looks like to me. And I think that's exactly what you need to do. I, I really feel like you guys have been through some sort of repression, perhaps. And, you know, your recovery, you're going through some sort of recovery. And I think you're setting boundaries that need to be set. And you may be dealing with somebody who's not happy that you're setting the boundaries. Maybe they want your money. Just saying. I mean, you got somebody here that doesn't have your best interest at heart and they may be just after your money so beware beware okay uh, and i think that you may already know this because i think that you're wide awake at this time and you are being divinely guided okay this person maybe you're dealing with somebody that's saying hey move here move here with me or stay with me and they just want your money be careful be careful um i don't know where that's coming from That's for somebody. That part won't be for everybody. I feel like if somebody has been really losing a lot of sleep, somebody has been really uh, anxious about where they're going, and I fearful perhaps, um, fearful, you know, perhaps, am I ever going to get what I want? Am I ever going to be happy? Am I ever going to be blessed like everybody else? You know, I think that if you open your mind and you see things from a new perspective, and I think that's what you're doing, that, you know, you will see that you there is heaven. There's heaven here. There's heaven here. I don't know where this is coming from. And I think it's it, that you're in the space of, you know, 
trying to find that heaven here, trying to find that heaven here on earth. And I don't know where this heaven part is coming from, but I feel like This is a card of peace. So peace of mind is going to come back. You're going to receive the peace of mind that you have been wishing for after you relocate, after you plant your seeds someplace else, whatever that means, I don't know. I think there's been a lot of mental anguish and sleepless nights, worrying, worrying about what the next step is, worrying about are you going to be alone forever, worried if you're going to be rejected, worried if um, you're ever going to be accepted, worried if you're ever going to be abundant, worried. I see a lot of worries here. Don't worry. Don't worry because you're going to you're going to get what you want. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get the wish fulfillment. You're going to heal. You're going through a healing period right now and you are going to be blessed. You are going to be blessed. You know why you're going to be blessed? Because I think that you're an honest person. I mean, I do see honesty here. I think that I gotta push pause for a second. Sorry, Aries. I had to blow my nose, you know, because I sneezed and I didn't want to be sniffing the whole time, so I do apologize. Um, but let's get back to this. The mental anguish that you have been through, the sleepless nights, those are about to be over with because you're going to be you're going to receive some peace. You're gonna get you're gonna peace is coming, okay? It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of wish fulfillment. But you're going to have to put in effort. And I think that you've given up. I think that you have given up, you know, following your dreams. And that's why dreams came up earlier. You know, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Don't let anybody hold you back, please. Don't let your fears hold you back. You may be dealing with somebody who's keeping you back from following your dreams, from getting that ultimate wish fulfillment. And I think that you know this. I do. I do. But you may not want to be alone anymore. Maybe there's loneliness getting in the way, and that's why you're staying in this predicament. I'm not sure. I feel like it's time to let go. It's time to um, stop giving your energy, stop giving your energy and your your effort to whoever this person is or the situation is that is causing you so much anxiety and worry and guilt and whatever it is just give up just give it up okay give it up don't don't give them your energy because there's whoever you're dealing with is stealing whoever or whatever is stealing your energy and i feel like it's 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 really time for you to let go you're sacrificing yourself needlessly you know maybe maybe you you're trying to um resist in some way it's like you're resisting and you're sacrificing your your time and your energy and maybe even your money I don't know your stability whatever this is for somebody or something that isn't It's not the right plan, okay? You need to you need to refocus. You need to think about this. I think that something or somebody is holding you back. I mean, but but you're allowing it. You're allowing it. And it may be out of loneliness and maybe because you maybe you fear that, you know, you're never gonna find anybody. I don't know what this is, or you know, maybe you just don't want to be lonely, but I hear I'm here to tell you that you're gonna get exactly what you wish for. You are. Renewal, peace of mind, healing. So I feel like relocating is going to bring you healing, whatever that means. Whatever you need to relocate, 
whatever it is, wherever you need to invest your energy, wherever that is, you need to, this is being dug up and planted someplace else. Whatever it is, whether it's you're, you're going someplace else or you're planting someplace else or whatever, whatever you do, wherever you plant, whatever it is that you're planting, you're going to get what you want out of it. So whatever this idea is, this new idea, you got some new idea, you got some thought, okay? You got some thought that if you go do this, whatever it is, it's going to it's gonna bring you success. I'm here to tell you the answer is yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. You are dealing with another person or a situation that is trying to hinder you. So you're really going to have to struggle through. You're going to have to be open-minded. You're going to have to, you know, look fear in the face. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to um, juggle. You're going to have to, you know, maybe take uncomfortable measures, you know, to, to be happy but in the end you're going to get what you want so if you have this new idea you have this thought you you got this idea basically do it do it and it's been divinely guided from above it's like this somebody is guiding you to just go to just go whatever this means just go because you have a new beginning waiting for you. You got to walk away. This is funny. I just happened to look back at this. You have to walk away from what doesn't serve you, from people that don't serve you, from toxic situations that don't serve you. They're stealing your energy. They may be after your money too. Just saying. They may be after your money too. So beware. Beware. I feel like you are probably going to actually walk away from something. That's what it looks like to me. And you're going to start over. And you may be literally starting over in a new location. With a world card in this this relocation, you may be really, really breaking free from that cage that somebody has put you in. Or you put yourself in. So I feel like you guys have been in a very unhealthy situation. And you're probably about to fly away. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you're about to give up because this isn't worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth being controlled. It's not worth hanging on to a situation that isn't stable. It's not secure. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is really after the money. Okay, they're after the they're after the money. They're after the stability. They're after the security you can provide. But that's it. That's it. That's it. They may pretend that they love you, or they may they may they may be crushing on you, or they might who knows what they're doing. But you know, it's 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 childish. It's play. It's playful. You know, so just it's child's play. So beware. I think that you got somebody in the mix that maybe just after your money and i hate to say that but or something like that and you you need to uh be practical here you need to get grounded you need to realize that you know your hard work is yours it's yours the work that you put in you own that don't let somebody steal it don't let somebody steal your stability you know hold on to it remember the four of pentacles is down there in the middle hold on to your stability it's like somebody wants it and i feel like you know you're gonna have to make a decision whether you want to play with this person or not um hmm. you may have memories with this person you may have memories with this person maybe you're you um, are going to relocate back home. You're going back home because this is like to your hometown. Maybe it's time to relocate back home. That's where your wish fulfillment is. So I don't know what this means, but I feel like some of you are going to be relocating after being stuck in a situation where there really was no victory and success. There was a po probably a loss of income as well. You probably were led astray by a person that was manipulative and only after one thing. And it probably wasn't sex. It was probably financial gain. So I think that, you know, you're about to go home. Whatever that means. You're headed home. Good luck.